Jesus, in the midst, in the middle of his ministry, in the midst of very successful things happening, goes away to pray and to be alone with God. Uh, by doing that, Jesus shows us this example of dependence on God. Here as the perfect human example for us. Jesus shows us what we need to do when we're busy and we're tired, what we need to do to make it in this life. We need to get alone with God, to be refreshed and renewed by his spirit. And, and Jesus, he really, it's almost like the, the, the feeling the text gives is this, it's almost forceful, like he puts his foot down. He made the disciples get in the boat and he dismisses the crowds. He's like, enough is enough. I, I, I gotta go. And sometimes you just, you just gotta do that. Sometimes you gotta put your foot down and make it a priority, right? Because isn't it, I mean, you guys know, isn't it so often like many of us, we, we, maybe we, we want to spend time with God and be with God, but just there's so much going on, it easily gets shuffled to the bottom of the list of priorities, right? So what you gotta do is you, you just have to, force that priority and put it at the top of your list. And that's what Jesus does here so that he can be alone with God because he, he understood and knew the importance of intimacy with God. That without having intimacy with God, your spiritual life, it will it'll just get sapped until there's, there's nothing left and there'll be no vitality in your relationship with God. So in light of these things, can I just ask, how is your intimacy with God? How are you and God really? You know, maybe, maybe you're here and you're, you're not yet a Christian, but you've, you've come, and that's okay. That's, that's great. We're so glad that you're here. But maybe you've never really sat down and had a real conversation with God. I was telling a guy just a few weeks ago, I was like, man, you really need to just, will you just go and somewhere that you enjoy out in the beach or the cliffs and just sit and figure out where you and God or at, whether you really believe in God and whether you really are going to follow. So maybe you've never done that. Never, you never had a real conversation with God. For those of you who are Christians, how is your intimacy with God? Was, when was the last time you actually had quality time with the Lord? What is your relationship with him like? Now, I know to a certain extent, all of us kind of have like ADD, right? And it's not it's not easy, and that's why I think this is something that we can cultivate and that we, we need to cultivate. Sometimes you can start out slow and, and make it longer and longer. I, uh, when I was in seminary, which is kind of a fancy word for, you know, like Bible school for people who are going to become pastors, uh, the, the college, they had a group of us go up to Big Bear, and they gave us a flashlight, some walkie-talkie things, and and a bottle of water, and we had our sleeping bag and pillow, and they're like, okay, go get lost in the woods and don't come back until this time tomorrow. For 24 hours, just go be alone with God. And I, I was pretty stoked on, on that idea because I've, I've kind of always done that regularly. At least once a year, I'll usually go and camp by myself for at least a night or multiple. Not last year, I think it was like five nights in a row, but just to go be alone with God. And so I was doing that, and in the middle of the, of the night, one of my uh, – school buddies, he came and found me, and he's like, hey, man, I built this fire. Will you come sit with me for a bit? So I was like, okay. And as we started uh, talking, what came out was that he had a real hard time just being out there and being alone with God, alone with his thoughts. And so through that conversation, God really opened up the door for us to, to really talk about intimacy with God. And that's really what I'm praying for so many of you today, that somehow through the service, through the sermon, that, that God would really open up this door for you then you desire to, to spend some time with God. This week and that, this year, that would be one of your priorities, that spending time alone with God would be something so valuable to you in your life. That you, you look forward to it. That you enjoy being with God. And I'm not talking about just like a, you know, Two minutes, make sure to like read the Bible and pray before you go to work and that. I'm talking about extended time. Like I realize you can't just spend hours with alone with God. Like every day you got work and school and whatever uh, stuff to do. Um, but man, maybe like once a week just to spend some extended time with the Lord. Uh, I mean, the relationship with God is like any relationship. Like if I don't ever spend any alone time with, with my wife, we don't ever go out on dates the natural result is that the quality of our relationship will deteriorate. It's the same thing with God. you got to, like, plan date night with God, so to speak, okay? you got to spend time 
with God and cultivate that relationship. And sometimes you got to be adamant about it, like Jesus here. you got to make it happen. He made it happen. So will you guys do that with me? We prioritize intimacy with God this year in 2017. We need that so much. I want us to be a church that is resolved about investing in our relationship with God and spending time with him, that we're not just a people who gather just on Sundays and that worship for us is just coming to church. It's got to be more than that. If worshiping Jesus means walking with Jesus, then the way that we walk with him is walking the way that he taught us to walk, and that's by getting away and being alone with God. May he help us to do that this year.